This is my three month old nano cube terrarium. Unfortunately, the moss and plants inside went from looking like this to looking like this. Before I tell you why, let me give you a quick recap on this terrarium over the past three months. This terrarium is made from a glass 20 centimeter cube aquarium. It's got a leaker drainage layer with a sheet of window screen mesh that sits on the top to keep the substrate out. In the foreground, I used tree fern panel as moss loves to grow on it. I poured in some of my usual terrarium substrate and then began to make the hardscape out of black lava rock. I came up with a simple design which I then added some pieces of spiderwood to. I wanted them to look like tree roots growing down over the rocks. I went on to secure them in place with super glue and tissue. With the hardscape finished, I then went on to bring the tank to life with plants. I used a range of different terrarium and aquarium plants to achieve a natural looking terrarium. Some of the leaves on the boost did have some deficiencies, but this was due to their previous setup and wouldn't be a problem. I then went on to add some Christmas moss throughout the terrarium and some other small climbing plants such as this oak leaf creeping fig. I then added some springtails and the terrarium was complete. However, one week in and there was a slight issue. The HC cuber planted down the middle of the tank had not settled in well and was mostly dying. This wasn't too much of a problem as I pulled most of it out and replaced it with weeping moss. At this point the terrarium was looking really good and healthy. I then left it for another 5 weeks before doing another update. Five weeks on and the terrarium was thriving. The Christmas moss had completely carpeted the foreground and was looking super healthy. And it was growing great up on the spiderwood as well. The coral moss had begun to creep and attach to the lava rock and the weeping moss was also growing really well. At this point I did some maintenance in the form of trimming up the moss and trimming off any deficient leaves that had occurred in a previous setup. Trimming off these leaves would result in healthier ones coming through. When looking at the side of the tank, there was new roots present in almost all of the plants. After five weeks, this tank was looking super healthy. So what happened? Six weeks on, and as you can see, the terrarium is really not looking at its best. Some of the moss in the foreground had began to brown and turn yellow. Unfortunately, that's not the worst of it. The moss on the spiderwood had completely died and the leaves on the Bucephalandra and most of the other plants were also super pale, which is definitely not a healthy sign. So what caused these problems? Let me tell you. I've had this tank sitting under some LED lights that's hooked up to a timer. It turns the light on for 12 hours and then back off for 12 hours. I've had the timer for about three years and it's worked great. But of course, when I went away for a few days, it decided to break. This left the terrarium receiving 24 hours of light for 24 hours a day for four days straight. This resulted in some of the moss drying up and dying due to excess light. And it also caused a lot of the leaves to go extremely pale. Anything that was growing in the shade or in darker areas seems to be doing okay. The moss is still vibrant green and the Bucephalandra's leaves look normal. It's a shame this tank was so badly affected, but it's a lesson learned and it won't happen again as I've upgraded to some Wi-Fi plugs instead. Although I'm confident in my ability to bring this tank back to being healthy, I think I'm going to take it down and start fresh. Of course, you'll see that video here on the channel in the future. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future builds and thank you for watching.